It's room check day. I gotta hide my Bible. Yeah. You know what? Weed? We don't, there's no weed here. All right, yeah. <laughs> so, what are you here for? Foot long cookie. Foot long. We in Churro? Yeah, in Churro, if they have it. If they have it. If they have it, we're getting that thing. We're also getting subs, because why not? Yo, yo, yo. Eighteen dollars for, for a, a foot sub and a cookie. You <laughs> hey, just turkey on it, by the way. I got nothing but turkey on my sub, and it's eighteen dollars. Hey, bro, I'm boycotting Subway, bro. This, cook please, hey, this cookie's bad, bro. I can't be mad. Bro, bro. the cookie and churro is bad. I'm never coming back to Subway again in my life, bro. That would take me off. Just paid eighteen dollars for a, a sub, bro. For a sub, bro. You hold on. Yeah, of course. Nice. I want it. Well, we got a churro, we got a sub, and we got cookie. Two cookies. Two cookies, one for me, one Foot for him. Foot long cookie. Foot long cookie. Both 1,400 calories. So this is the extreme bulk. Ultimate bulk. Ultimate bulk, dude. All right, catch on a bit. <laughs> Left hand just out of range. Oh, oh my God, shut it. You did it. Hey, we getting that chin, boys. Oh. Dude, I don't know what y'all. Boxing this summer is the move, bro. Is boxing the move this summer? Oh. Are you boxing? What are you more into, boxing or martial arts? Right now, it's just a bunch of celebrities trying to do it. That Jake Paul and all that? Yeah, they're doing like that YouTube. And that's their you gonna pay for that, or are you just gonna see the, see what the highlights? It's on Netflix. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be Netflix? Yeah. I don't got Netflix, so... Are we gonna be here for it? Uh, what's up y'all how y'all doing man hope everybody's having a great and fantastic day we are on the final day um of so the relationship series this is the relationship series number eight the final one because song of songs is coming to an end y'all the eighth uh chapter was a good chapter and i just want to I'm, I'm just gonna speak to y'all right here song of songs for me y'all really just opened my eyes more to the idea of what i'm searching for how to search and exactly what I'm searching for, you know, because I think all of my life and I think I think all of us can speak of we've we've kind of just been searching and we didn't really know what exactly for. We may have little like little ideas here and there. But again, like like I like we talked about yesterday, we don't know what's best for us. Um, and what we got, what I had to find out is what's best for us, what God wants for us. That's, that's why I, I pray for God's will to be done in my life. And if I truly want God's will to be done in my life, I have to know what's in God's will. So it's really important that we get into his word. And see what he calls marriage to be. See what he calls a young man and a young woman to be. Um, and especially for one another. Because that's, that's what helps us to understand not only how to be um, marriable, but how to find the one who is marriable for us. Um, you know, that, just, that just teaches us how to be. Also, in that process, it comes down to it, it helps us grow in the understanding of our relationship with God. Because one thing I had to really learn is that before we can have a relationship with anybody else, we have to understand that our number of relationship is and will always be our relationship with God. And one thing I can say I have had happen is I've become distracted with with the woman I've, I've become in a relationship with because I've learned to love her. But I had I didn't keep myself in check when it came to to making sure that she understood that she was not my number one. And for all those listening, I want you to understand, love your partner and love them with with, with, with your heart, you know what I'm saying? Love them genuinely. Love them for who they are, am, who they are, not just for, for what they give you. You know what I'm saying? That's the most important part is loving somebody for who they are in the spirit, not just for what they give you here in the physical. Because a lot of times we get relationships and we, we like the things people do for us. We like the stuff that, 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 that they allow us to do for them. We like the, the giving aspect, not so much the... the, the we, we like the receiving aspect, not the part of us that has to give. We like the aspect of stuff that, 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 that they can give to us. You know what I'm saying? We don't really think too much about what we're having to give back in those situations. And a relationship is so much more than about what you receive. It's about what you give. Our love is so important because to give your love, you have to understand where love comes from. And we have to understand that all love stems from God. And so all love should be should look like um look like God has called love to look like. I know I'm not looking at you right now. I'm I do this when I think. But um 
love is so important because it's the basis of which we which marriage comes from and love is what what god sent his only son for us you know what i'm saying that's why god did it out of love and in in the midst of love you see all of the different aspects of love that all the things that come because you love something as someone all the things god's done for us because of his love he he, he first forgave us he redeemed us then he then he he, then he gave his son so there, there we go he, he gave that's one of the most important parts so he gave he forget he forgives he he redeems and, and, and these are many traits that we see in love and and seeing all these things god has done for us it shows us how we should treat one another that's why i mean you you never really like in the whole aspect of well we give our life to god 100 percent. but the most important thing in that relationship you see is what god gave us and he gave us he gave us life he's given us so much you see how much god gives these are things that show his love it's not about oh we god received this so he loved us no he's a god loved us first so before we ever gave anything god loved us so it's so important that in a relationship we don't focus on what we're receiving we focus on giving because when, when you learn who somebody is you get to learn the traits about them and you'll see whether there's somebody who loves you for what they give you or they love you because you are who you are and, and that's the most important part because if you love somebody for what they give you it's really not about that person it's about the things that come with them it's about loving that person and the most important thing about loving that person is understanding what is there to love about them. And I think that we we really understood that in this word of God, the traits that God has called for in love and in a young lady or a young man shows us what to find love in. We need to seek a godly man or woman. We need to seek one that, that is that is indulged in a relationship with God more than they are with us. Because when I find a woman, I not only am I going to tell her, I, I, I'm, I want you to know that I'm going to love God more than you. But I want you to love God more than you love me as well. Because it can't be one way. Like, I can't love God more than her and then she loves me more than God. It can't work like that because now we're not equally yoked. Because we must be equally yoked. God must be our first priority because for God to be in, the, in our relationship, we must, first, we must both be in tune with our relationship with God. Both searching for God. Both allowing God to be our rock and our foundation. So when things go tough, we're both going to God looking for, for the help. When things get tough, we're both going to God um, to, be, to be our rock. Because if me and her are each other's rock, if me and her are the ones that we have to lean on when everything goes bad, then, then when things are going tough in between us, things are screwed. Life is screwed. And, and now our feelings are everywhere because our, our relationship's everywhere. But no, God is the rock. He's the reason the relationship will sustain. He's the reason that we can sustain even when the relationship may not be working so well. He's the reason that we can find a, a bridge in the midst of a situation that's rocky because if we make each other um each other's bridge we're both holding up each side when one person falls now boom the other side's gonna fall with it but if god's the middle ground no matter how shaky we get god's holding us up he's holding us together and that's the reason we can push through and continue because god is the foundation on which we built this relationship on and that's why through this i really understood that god's role in the relationship is the most important part and in life in general god is always the most important part of all, all our life that's why it's so important to build a relationship, not just to learn who he is, but learn who he is to you and, and grow with him that he may show you who he is in your life. That you may not only know the stories, but you may live it out yourself and you may see the stories and the evidence in your own life. And that's why as um, for any non-believer out there, it's so important that you learn that that is not just taking my word for it, but you have a you have a, a situation where you can see God's impact in your own life. I have so many different testimonies for myself. I've seen God appear in my life in so many different ways. I've seen his work and his will be done in my life in situations I never thought could be done. But if I tell you that, it's just going to sound like I'm talking. I'm chalking it up to, to this and that. <coughs> but you have the ability. You have the ability to have your own situation and relationship with God where you can know for yourself. But you have to humble yourself enough to, to, to see that. You have to humble yourself enough to see him in your relationship. And a big part about inviting God's relationship is understanding that you're not always right. So you're going to have to be ready sometimes to take criticism, ready sometimes to be told what you're doing wrong. Because again, in God's word, there is no question, there is no lie. He leaves no room for interpretation. God says it how it is. So if you're wondering what your relationship should look like, what you should look like relationship, and what your partner should look like, look like a relationship, get in the word. It's there. God always lets us know what is right and what is wrong. He lets us know what, what things should be and what things should not be. And so if you're looking, what's your relationship in body? What should a relationship hold? What should I as a man look like in relationship? What should I as a woman look like in relationship? Man, it's in the word of God. Go to God. He has all the answers. He is all that we need. So any questions we have is in him and, and he'll, he'll show us his truth. He'll show us the answer. We just have to be diligent. We have to be diligent in trusting him to, to, to open our eyes to the truth. So today, um, it's really just a recap, really, of all we've talked about um, in these last couple of days. But I just want to let it be known. I want the main understanding for you all to be 
Let God be the source of your love. Let God be the source of your love. Let him be the reason we find our person. Just be trusting in him and be patient. And just trust that who he has for us is there. We just have to make sure that we're seeking them in him, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Don't go seeking out girls because of the things that attract you from the world. Look for a woman that attracts you because of things the Lord calls to be good. Because a wife, a wife is a good thing. That's what the Bible tells us. That he that finds a wife finds a good thing. So that means that you ain't gonna find nothing that's gonna bring you pain. You ain't gonna find nothing that brings you hurt. You're gonna find something that brings you joy. Not saying that there might not be tough times, but I'm saying that every time should be a tough time. You shouldn't be having to prove yourself to this lady. You shouldn't be having to, 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 to have them to prove themselves to you because they keep making mistakes. No. God's word tells us what a good thing is. It's in the word. Go read it. That's how you'll find a good thing. Because we must search for what God embodies to be a good thing, not what our flesh tells us is good. Because our flesh will lust after the woman for any and every good uh, reason that ain't good. So we have to trust that we, we, we seek in God's way and not our own. Let God be the reason we find love today, y'all. Let God be the reason. <clears throat> Let us pray. Dear Lord God, we want to say thank you for another day, God, in which you are here in our lives. Thank you for another opportunity to learn and understand, Lord God, what you have in store for us. We pray, Lord God, that you will be the reason we find love. You will be the embodiment of how we show love. And all we do, Lord God, we give glory unto you and not ourselves. Our relationship will embody, Lord God, what you have called for a man and woman to share uh, a long living life together, Lord God. Because as we learn, Lord God, we learn that our relationship with you comes first. And so in all moments of life, in all aspects of life, Lord God, we have you in the midst of all situations because you are first. And we pray, Lord God, that that will be embodied in our relationships, individualized, Lord God, and with someone else. That you may receive all the honor, the glory, and praise, Father. We say that we love you and we thank you. We worship your name on high. And we just pray, God, that we will be patient, trust you, Lord God, and trust your guidance. And trust, Lord God, what you call good to be good. For us in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Well, y'all, if y'all enjoyed that vlog, make sure you leave a like, comment. And so Scott, man, and I pray you enjoy the vibe. Hey, no limit. Ah! Young and winning, Moose, they die to stay, they coming back.